Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to tap into the current energy for this specific energy group of Leos. Let's see what the cards want to say. Now, this could be an ex. This could be a new person. We'll just see whatever comes out, whatever the current story is, the current energy. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. You come off uninterested and detached. I'm afraid that you've moved on by now. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. So this could be someone that's in a third party situation or maybe someone that's um, like in a custody battle or they have some kind of drama going on. They just have a lot on their plate right now, but they are missing you. They are wanting to wrap things up and get things together. Um, this could be someone that left you in the past maybe they just had too much going on but they're wanting to come back to you now with a stable love offer and i just want to reiterate too that i'm not for or against this energy like i am unbiased i'm just tuning into your energy um, which includes your energy field like any you know exes that are still connected to you so this is just the current energy it's i'm, I'm not encouraging you to get back with this person i'm just telling you what the current energy is what who's thinking about you and it's up to you to decide if you want that or not i personally probably would not want someone that left and didn't realize what they had until they lost it but that's you know it's up to you i'm damaged and i don't know how to open my heart again you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So you're starting to really get into that, that fiery, passionate Leo energy, that charismatic energy, um, like queen or king of wands type energy. And your spirit guides just want to let you know, like you have multiple potential partners, so you don't have to settle for this ex that sabotage things. I'm aware you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. I also feel like this is a new person that might be the one for you. Because I feel a couple different energies here. I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. I feel like you're out of my league. You're too good for me. I feel nervous and shy around you. So this is kind of almost like secret admirer energy too. There's like a couple different people here. I had a huge epiphany. There's, so the epiphany, I think, was that there's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. So this could be someone that chose a karmic partner over you. Maybe they had kids together. Maybe there was some drama. Maybe there was some um, drama with their family or just things keeping you apart. And they gave in to that stress. They decided to take the easy way out. And they're regretting it now. They're realizing, you know, that they're, they're not going to be able to find you. They're not going to be able to... Um, to fill that void you know it's like you woke something up inside of them you you change them for the better you feel like you're very like free-spirited or very like you see the world in a very different way from a very different per like heightened perspective and I feel like it kind of rubbed off on them too like they're just starting to realize like no one sees the world the way that you do like you're you're just very unique you're very um just the way you communicate the way you see the world the way you might be like an artist type or like a musician there's just something very special about your energy and they've been trying to find that energy in other people maybe for some reason it's inconvenient for them to love you like maybe you guys live in separate states or one of you is married or um, has kids or just some kind of drama or something that could keep you guys apart and make it difficult to have a successful relationship together so I think that they tried to take the easy way out and they tried to find that energy somewhere else and they're, you know, they have this epiphany, like they can't find it. There's, you know, you're, you're unique, your mind, the way you see things, it's just, 
how free spirited, how open you are, how empathic you are. Like they can't find that with just anybody. That's a very rare energy. And now that it's not in their life, they're, they're realizing how much they need that in their life and they're missing it. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. I feel like you're pulling away from me. I did not realize what I had until it was gone. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. And I want to take things slowly and get to know you better. So there might be, there might still be some drama and like a reason they might need to take things slow. Um, but they are wanting, they are realizing that they're, you know, they're starting to cave. They're starting to give into their emotions where before they would try to be logical. They'd be like, no, it's not realistic to try to have this relationship. Like it's, maybe they told themselves like, oh, this is just like the honeymoon phase. It's love at first sight. It's, it wouldn't last long term. But now they're like, well, I don't know if it would or wouldn't, but I know that I cannot live without this. Like they're they're just missing you a lot and they're starting to give into that emotion they're still fighting themselves on it a little bit but they're they're um this is someone who's like very logical like overly logical like overthinks things over analyzes like they're just practical about everything almost to a boring extent it's like really just like let loose a little bit um and they're still fighting themselves but i feel like i feel like they're they're breaking like they're having that urge to communicate with you to send a message or call for some, it might be a while since you guys have talked, so they're trying to figure out what to say, but that's what I'm feeling right now in the current energy. Um, and like I said, I'm unbiased. I'm not telling you to go back with that person. Like, if they did not realize what they had, then maybe you want to let that go, but I'm just letting you know what it is, like what the, you know, who's in your energy field. I'm letting you know what's going on, and then it's, it's your decision. I personally wouldn't want that back, I don't think. Magic intention, power manifestation, manipulation, deception. Someone's been trying to manifest you back, but there's an energy in their life that's been trying to block them. Like they feel nostalgic for you, like they miss you, but there's some kind of, this could be like a third party situation or something like of that sort. Like there's like a karmic person. And this could also be like a family member or like friends that don't like you, or it could just be drama, like just negativity around you guys. Um, it's like they've been trying to manifest you back they've been trying to find their own power not just i mean i feel like you brought this side of themselves out and so they've been trying to explore that more like maybe you kind of taught them to stand up for themselves like maybe you you saw something in them that most people didn't see you know you you got them i feel i feel like you just have that light about you it's like you're like this is kind of you it's what you are to them it's like they're looking at that they're they're putting the intention in of manifesting you back. And on top of it, they're also searching for their own power now because you, you, um, you change, you know, you kind of change them a little bit. And it's interesting Aries. I just did my Aries video and it's actually very similar energy. So I think all I've noticed, like all you like fire signs, water signs, earth signs, um, air, like you guys are all kind of like in similar energies a lot of the time, except like the stories are a little bit different, like who the person is to you and you know, what happened. It's, it's, the stories are different, but it's all like very similar energy. It's very interesting, um, how the energy groups in my channel work. But anyway, it's like someone's focusing on this now. Someone's, it's like he or she is trying to find themselves. They're like, they, they're, they're starting to look at themselves the way that you saw them. You know what I mean? Like if you like say that say that they thought they were just so serious and you're like, no, you're actually really funny, or like they thought they were boring, or they thought they were unattractive. It's like you saw them as attractive, you saw them as funny, you saw them as intelligent, you saw them as creative when they didn't realize they could be creative. They didn't realize they could be those things. And you, you know, you made them more confident. And so now they're trying to find they're they're exploring this. They're like, oh, like really like I'm really creative like I like you supported their dreams and now they're pursuing these dreams someone's trying to block them and whisper in their ear and keep them stagnant and keep them stuck to them and this could be like a mother figure or a father figure that wants to control them you know could be friends toxic friends could be a, a karmic like a like a love partner um, but someone's trying to block them but they're nostalgic for you they're missing you they see you as their happiness, their warmth, their light. And they are feeling alone right now is what it's telling me. And if you want a private reading, um, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. 
It is Dragon Enchantress at AOL.com, but like I said, you can just copy and paste it from the description box below. I feel like this person wants to apologize. I don't feel like they were like a bad person, but I almost feel like you might, like, they might not be on your level, unfortunately. Like, I feel like they're not, um, I feel like you're just, you're very intuitive. You're very spiritual. You're very mentally strong. You've been through a lot. Your, um, the world is your oyster. You're a go-getter. And I feel like this person kind of just isn't like they're starting to connect with that side of themselves. And I feel like that was like a karmic lesson where like they needed you. They needed you a lot more than you needed them. Like you're a lot stronger than they are and they needed your light. They needed you to reconnect them with themselves, to show them the best side of themselves, to get them back in touch with the person they could be or the person they want to be or used to be. You know what I mean? Like you, you show them that they can be creative, that they can be intelligent. Like you, you know, you planted a seed, which made them confident and that confidence is growing so that they can be the person they're meant to be because I think they got off their path and their spirit guides needed you to help them get back on their path because you have such a strong light about you. Like you might be from the angelic realm. You have a very strong energy, very passionate energy that they just needed that in their lives to, um, they needed that example. It's like you set an example for them of, of how to be confident, how to be strong, how to, um, go after what you want. You know what I mean? Like you just planted a seed. It's kind of like that, like that movie, pay it forward. It's kind of like that kind of energy. And I feel like their spirit guides are going to reward you for that as well. Even if you guys don't get back together, I feel like you're still going to be rewarded for doing that for them. Like you paid a karmic debt by doing that for this person, by helping them get on their true path and see the light inside themselves that they could not have seen without you. Um, and like I said, I don't feel like this person is bad, but I just, I don't feel this being your true love. I personally, but it's up to you. You know what I mean? Like it's your life. So I personally would not want this back just because I feel like this person is very sweet, but I feel like they're a little bit too impressionable. I feel like they're a little bit too, um, they just don't have the same level of, of depth and intensity and courage and passion and life experience that you have. You know, like there's potential for them to eventually catch up to you, but like, is it worth it? I just, I feel like you're on another level and you might want to cut this out and like do like healing, healing rituals for them or whatnot, but, but kind of protect your energy and maybe manifest someone new that's, um, you know, more like king or queen energy is what you need in your life. Cause you're already there. You're already that powerful. Um, and I feel like you know, if you're the empress or the emperor, it's like you want, you know, you want that energy matched. Um, but this person does miss you and they do want to apologize. They do feel a lot of regret. Anger, miscommunication, make your move, green light. Shyness, fear of rejection. Yeah, they just, they miscommunicate because it's like they're afraid of being rejected. It's like this person is just so logical and so timid and so insecure. Ugh. It's like they want to make a move, but then they're like, oh my gosh, what if I get rejected? What if, what if this, what if that? And it's like, really? I think that you just want someone who's more sure of you and more sure of who they are and what they want. But like you did help this person a lot. You really did. Like, I don't think this person would be who they are without you. Like, I think that you really changed this person. Like, you helped them get on their path. Like, they, you're going to be rewarded for that. You either paid a karmic debt from your past lives or you just did something amazing for someone else. And so your spirit guides are going to reward you with love, money, whatever it is for you personally. Um, so it's not a bad thing. I mean, but they just, they needed you a lot more than you needed them. Like I said, if this is your reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated, and please subscribe if it resonates. Loyalty, stability, vows. Yeah, this person's kind of spying. They're like, oh, I want to be loyal. I want to be your knight in shining armor now, male or female. But it's like they're still trapped by something. They're still blocked by their own insecurities or by a, a, possibly by a karmic, like a third-party situation, something that's toxic, red flags. And they're trying to work up the energy to cut this cord and to free themselves from this toxic energy 
maybe they're like trying to stand up to a karmic partner, but the karmic partner is very, um, your person's very like submissive. And the karmic is very like dominant, whether this is family, a lover, whatever it might be, could be a could be a coworker or a boss even that's like bullying them and making them keeping them trapped in a in a stagnant job. But whatever it is, it's like it's like they're trying to work up the courage to cut this cord to free themselves, but it's like they're still finding themselves, they're healing, and this person is almost blocking their healing. It's like they just want to escape. Beauty, mystery, enchantment, reconciliation. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah, but there's a third party, and that's kind of an issue here. Third party, X. And please keep in mind, too, if you're like, if you're a Leo and you're viewing this and you're like, wait a minute, this is a different story. Well, this is probably a different X. So, like, I just, like I said, for, for the Leos that watch my videos, I tap into your energy and who's in your current energy field. So, like... I might have channeled someone different from for you a couple weeks ago and then maybe the past week it's like this ex is wanting to pop back in so I'm picking up on this now but it's still your story you know what I mean like if you've been following me it's this is still your energy group but it might not be the same person it might not be the same person like it might be an ex it might be a new person it's it's whatever's in your energy field when I tap in at the time so this is currently who wants to who is in your energy field who is wanting to reconcile with you who's codependent with you um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like you've done all you can do for this person. I really do. Like, it's good to send them healing, but they ultimately have to make that decision for themselves. And you don't want to keep going down this roller coaster with them because it's like, they're just not very strong. It's like this other person or this other energy, whatever it is, it's like, there's this energy around them that dominates them and controls them and kind of bullies them and silences them. And it's like, you can't mother or father them. You know, like you did help them. Like you needed to plant that seed inside themselves, inside them, but it's up to them. You know, like, are they going to water that seed or are they going to let it die? It's, it's up to them at this point, but you did what you needed to do. You paid your karmic debt by planting that seed already, but like, you can't like go over there and like drag them out and be like, we're done with the karmic now. You know what I mean? Like they have, they're an adult. They have to make that decision they it's sad it really is sad because you see a lot of good women women and a lot of good men too get trapped in these um cycles and trapped in these relationships where they're you know abused and bullied and unha unhappy and some of them spend their lives in that and it sucks and it's painful and you know this person's a good person so you don't want to leave them in that energy but at the same time it's like you also can't keep going on this roller coaster like up and down up and down with them you know what I mean like eventually they have to make that decision are they going to be brave and step out of their comfort zone and have this new start or are they going to stay in this energy but you don't want to go down with them you know what I mean you can like be detached but also at the same time send them healing rituals or spells um wish them well tell them you're there for them if they want to talk you know what I mean like you can support them but not be sucked into this chaos with them you know what i mean yeah fear of commitment waiting hoping praying that they they break free of this this hidden truth is coming out what's the hidden truth about yeah i feel like that eventually they are going to want to confess something to you but it's like it's like this person keeps like the karmic keeps dragging them back in whoever this is it's like there's someone toxic that keeps it's like they go to reach out to you and then someone drags them back in and it sucks but like at a certain point you have to do what's best for you no matter how much it hurts you know what i mean but like i said i mean it's your life though it's up to you like i'm not like for or against this energy it's just i just try to tell you i just try to like tap in and tell you guys what's going on so you can make your own decisions and i give you like a little bit of advice here and there but overall i just try to let you guys know what's going on but i mean personally i would not want this um but I know when you love someone, you love someone, it's complicated. Um, but they, they need to be stronger. Otherwise, it's gonna, you're gonna, both of you are going to be stuck in this mess. If this person keeps being so weak-minded and submissive and weak-willed, they're going to keep getting dragged. I feel like they're, like, afraid of, like, they don't, like, the, the karmic has something against on them. Like, they have, like, maybe they have kids together or maybe, like, there's like an inheritance that they're not going to get if they stand up 
um, stand up she, to them or something. There's like maybe uh, like I don't know what it is. There's just there's some kind of energy where it's like they're being held back. Like they start going forward and they start because I feel like you really you know awaken a side of themselves that they did not know that they had. So they're testing, they're trying to test the waters now. They're like, really? I can be creative. I can be intelligent. I can have the life that I want. Like they're so insecure. They've been so bullied. And so, you know, maybe their whole lives they've been bullied. And so they're kind of believing what you're saying. They're like, really? I could ever, like, I could have that for myself. Like I can, that's, that's a, that those dreams are possible. Really? Like they're, they're kind of embracing that. It's almost like childlike in a way it's, it's sweet, but childlike at this, they, this person has like a very sweet childlike energy which I can see the appeal, but at the same time, like, do you really want that in a life partner though? You know what I mean? Like it's good, but you also need someone who's assertive and courageous and passionate and on your level. You know what I mean? And this person is just lacking in that department. Like you want someone with a good balance of masculine and feminine energy. And that's sometimes, sometimes that's hard to find, but I mean, it's like, it's worth it though, you know? But, um, but yeah, it's like they start like experimenting, like, oh, like kind of test, like playing around with this newfound confidence. Like, really? Like I could, I could explore the world. I could travel. I could, I could own my own house. I could, um, start doing my artwork again or writing or singing or painting again or whatever it is. You know what I mean? And then this, like this karmic, this, whoever this family member, friend, lover, boss drags them back in. And is like, no, you can't actually. Like they're trying to kill that seed that you planted. And it sucks because I know you want to protect them, but it's kind of between them and the karmic at this point. It's up to them. Are they going to water that seed or are they going to let it die? You know? Love offer. Chaser, chasee. Divine intervention. The divine is trying to protect them. The divine is trying to get them through this. But, um, but yeah, it's just kind of chaotic. But you need to, you can send them healing, but you got to protect yourself and not be dragged into this because if you're an empath, it's like you might be feeling the karmic's energy and the chaos and having anxiety about it. Like you got to protect yourself. Um, anyway, if you guys would like a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. Please subscribe if it resonates. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see what the story is in a couple weeks when I do my readings again on the 1st.